everybody, it's me. I'm a terrible human being. As you can probably tell, it's very late and I'm in my dressing gown. Uh, I've had a manic weekend, so I'm literally only just now at half past seven at night getting the energy to actually put a makeup look together. Uh, I've also tried to give my skin some time off because, I, like I said, manic weekend. Uh, Saturday I was going to a family reunion thing and as I'm sure you know, family reunions, you kind of have to like make yourself look presentable and then last night was bar whatever uh, whatever world event in Bristol. It was amazing. I did some stand-up. I didn't film it because it was basically the same stand-up that I've already done that you can see on the channel. And next weekend I'm heading back to Brighton for another Kingdom night. So it's all crazy. Uh, so I tried to give my skin some time off today to just calm itself down a little bit. It was getting irritated. But I'm here now for today's video which is late and I apologize and we're doing werewolf makeup. I've already primed um, first up is foundation and I've switched foundation because mine ran out. Uh, so I've switched to L'Oreal Infallible Sculpt Contour Base. I don't know how a contour base is different to a foundation. It looks like foundation, it feels like foundation, I'm gonna say it's foundation. Um, it's a bit runnier than my last batch more liquidy. I think the other batch had possibly just because of the amount of time I'd been using it um, gotten quite sort of firm, I guess. Uh, but yeah, just gonna cover that, blend it. Um, so yes, that is foundation foundated or contour base contour basted so next we have contouring and this is going to be uh, quite an extreme contour because we're going for a uh, creature look so it's not going to be uh, your normal run the mill contouring i'll shuffle forward a bit so you can actually see what i'm doing to my face um so we're just gonna get in a load of shadow and we're gonna Start from under the brow and take it all the way down into the point of the nose. Can you see that? Make that really dark because essentially we're trying to go for a snouty kind of vibe. And on the other side, like that. My brush is still slightly wet from where I cleaned it earlier. Okay, so we've got sort of a snouty type thing going on. Gonna really try and get the end of the nose as a separate thing. Sweep that brow contour up. I'm not gonna lie, werewolf type makeup is something that has fascinated me for years. Like, I don't even know why. Just ever since I was like, I don't know, 14, 15, I've just had this <coughs> weird obsession with um, like sort of mid transformation makeup, you know, particularly with werewolves, obviously, because they have, I think, like the most obvious uh, transformation of a lot of monsters. Um, just the sort of, you know, really going for making visible uh, the human part and the animal part at the same time. I find that really interesting. Um, so yeah, just going over and getting that contour really dark. Doing cheekbones to sort of mirror the eye brow bone contour thing, you know. That goes there. Chin. And then we get the jaw. Okay, 
Okay, I think that's the shadow done. So it's very sort of drawing everything in towards the nose. We're going and putting some highlight in the areas underneath the shadow. Make sure again to put quite a lot on the nose so that it all draws into that central, central point and gives it more of a snout vibe. And if you mess up on any of this part of it, then don't worry, because the next step we're going to do should help it. Um, so, yes. Yes. We're going to blend. So we'll just blend, 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 blend. And try and keep, um, like obviously when you're blending, you're trying to buff it out, but try and keep it all moving in towards the nose in the directions you're doing it, just to keep that uh, shape there. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, um, werewolf makeup, generally sort of any kind of beast monster type makeup just fascinates me and I don't know why. Um, I think it's just because it sort of taps into that part of your brain that's like I mean, everyone likes to think that they're, you know, different to everyone else somehow, that they have that thing that is just theirs. And I think literally having this uh, creature that you could become at any moment, if you're not treated correctly or if you're not listened to, I, I can see how that is, you know, a very attractive sort of uh, psychology or a very interesting psychology to people. Um, Oh my god, that is not blending out at all. Come on! Give me something. Give me something to work with. I'm gonna keep blending for a while and I'll be back in a bit. Okay, that's mostly blended out. It's still quite heavy in places. Um, what I'm gonna do is just to get a little bit more precise and a little more detailed, I'm gonna get my uh, somewhere, wherever it's gone. Uh -huh. Going to get the old reliable Sephora contour stick um, just to get something a bit more beast like going around the mouth. And reinforce that. snout contour that we want. More blending! We have contoured and highlighted. And now comes the fun part. Um, I have here some hair. Uh, this is my own personal homegrown hair, but you can buy some from various places if you would rather. I'm gonna get some spirit gum and uh, some maybe some hair clay as well, and generally hairify my face. So I'll be back in a bit.
So yeah, uh, we are now a hair-fired werewolf type person. Um, I'm going for more of a mid-transformation look, so I'm not going to cover my entire face in hair, but if you have enough hair and enough time and enough patience, you can do that. Uh, this is very itchy how I look, so I would not recommend it. The final step is uh, teeth, and I actually made these with stuff I bought from Poundland, so you can get these uh, fake monster teeth things as well as some fake fingernails and uh, literally what I did was I took the top set of a pair cut it in half and then to the uh, canine and the one next to the canine I glued on a fake fingernail to each covered it in some paint some white and yellow and red to make it look all slathery and I also uh, trim down the gum area because in these fake teeth sets they always give you way more gum than you need. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put each half in backwards so the uh, molar tooth goes at the front. Because uh, I find that makes it easier to sit in. So yes, there we go. I forgot something.